When it comes to the topic of divorce, few people use the whole Bible to develop a view. Take 1 Corinthians 5.11, for instance. It says, But actually, I wrote to you not to associate with any so-called brother if he is sexually immoral or a greedy person or an idolater or is verbally abusive or habitually drunk or a swindler. Do not even eat with such a person. How can a person who is married to a verbal abuser carry on and do all the things in their life with this person? Have children with them, raise a family with them, go to church with them, do everything with them, sleep with them? When they are not even supposed to eat with such a person who claims to be a Christian and behaves that way. We need to stop telling women to just accept and live with this behavior. 